Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Shaw Sidecar TT Race 1 press conference. In third place, Conrad Harrison and Mike Aylert. In second place, we have uh, Ben and Tom Burchill. And our winners, Dave Molyneux and Patrick Ferrans. Well, let's talk to Conrad and Mike. And uh, first of all, Mike, uh, well, another finish for you. They keep, they keep coming. Seven out of seven, is that? Yeah, that's, that's all right. I'm quite happy with that. Quite happy to keep that going. So, yeah, really happy with how today's gone. No, mo no moments and uh, good run. And you didn't get too much flack off the driver as well this time in the uh, winner's enclosure. He normally blames you for wherever he's finished. Yeah, he seemed quite happy this time. <laughs> on it. Went, went pretty well. Great performance in Conrad. Uh, first of all, uh, I know you found it pretty difficult on the other side of the fence uh, for that first race today, the solo race with uh, Dean there. Yeah, it's not. My wife's had to put up with 18 years of this. Jeez, I didn't know it was that bad. <laughs> it's easier riding around here than watching, especially your own son, not me. But he's a class act. A ninth place. Yeah. So it's a blessed relief, I bet, to get out racing. Yeah, you're obviously not thinking about that then. Thinking about next corner, next corner, and carrying the speed, as Dave knows, like. You said on the start line that you'd had a really good practice week, but there was also, uh, while well, you were saying that, a note of worry that you had had such a good practice week. Uh, I don't say practice, I've had a good run for the last few years, and if you beat at TT, you, you can never count your chickens at TT. You, can, you can't. And when you get that attitude of not double-checking, treble-checking, uh, putting 150% in a bike, then you're at side of track. And are you going to find uh, in celebration some fish and chips on the Isle of Man oh, to oh, rival those oh, in Yorkshire? No, 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 it's only cat. You can't make fish and chips out. I mean, I, I, I eat fish and chips, but I'll be honest, I have to take my Rennies with me now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting on a bit. <laughs> I love them. Well, Conrad and Mike, congratulations on third place. And Ben and Tom Birchall are in second place. And, uh, well, three years in and you're on the podium. That must be a fantastic feeling, especially after you've, what you've gone through this past week. Yeah, definitely. It, it feels feels fantastic. And, uh, again, can't say a, a big enough thanks to uh, to Klaus and the team. From from the word go, since he asked us to ride for him, it, it's just been perfect. The organisation, his approach, and everything. And even when I give him probably the worst <laughs> baptism of fire as a team manager that's possible, with a crash at the beginning of the week, you know, it's still no problem. We just just got our heads down and fixed it. And Adolf, he came just straight off the plane, put his overalls on and, you know, got stuck in and got it mended and thrilled to be to be on the podium. A massive thanks to, to everyone that helps us, you know, Manx Gas and Andy Farragher. He's just always chipping away in the background and Andy Mitchell, a big thanks to him too. So, yeah, superb. Uh, just turning to you, the, the repair you had to do, there was a lot of superficial damage, wasn't there, to the bike uh, with the fairing, but I was there when they were taking the engine out and the amount of gravel and stones and muck that was coming out was just unreal after that incident. Yeah, but to be honest with you, I had nothing to do with any of it. I was just laid on my back with ice. But <laughs> the lads worked absolutely flat out. I mean, Ben put a front end on the, on the fairing, you know, and... You know, that doesn't normally happen at a race meeting, but that's what you get at the TT, I suppose, anything thrown at you. But everybody just chipped in and worked so hard. And yeah, just a massive thank you to, to everyone who's helped and everyone who's got us here. You've obviously done, uh, been world champions yourselves and second at the moment. How does this compare to those world championships? Getting on the podium at a TT race? Yeah, it's right up there. I mean, they are two separate disciplines, but. You know, this is what you come here for. We've been dreaming of this since we were, we were two kids, you know, messing about at the bottom of Big Arrow on a campsite. But we've had been given such a fantastic opportunity with Claffy and his team and, you know, he's given us all the tools that we need to do it. And it's, yeah, it's just hopefully he's, this is a bit of repayment and... Yeah, I can't say any more. Thank you. Ben and Tom, virtual congratulations. And our... Uh... Very popular second uh, place after that. And Patrick Ferrance, first of all, and then uh, we're going to baffle Molly with a few statistics because there are so many here that we need to uh, tell everyone about the achievements you've achieved here. But you have now got TT win for the first time, Patrick, and there was proper emotion there. I could see it in your eyes. It's now probably champagne that's stinging <laughs> the eyes, but uh, this means a lot to you, clearly. 
Yeah, it does. I mean, I've, uh, I came here 10 years ago when I did my first TT when I was 17, and Dave was right up at the front, and we were starting number 42 when I rode with Roy Tansley. And um, I never dreamed in my life that I'd get as far as I did with the racing, and uh, the TT just tops it off. It's just. <laughs> Getting emotional Actually, I'll try again. not to cry. Yeah. 16, sweet 16, that's the number of races you've done and finally on that top step. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a, been a long time coming. I mean, I've had a, I've had a few podiums, but uh, this, I mean, Ben and Tom know as well, this completely different discipline, the World Championship, but I won my World Championship in 2007 and this, this far better is it for me. Um, just the whole aspect and the, the challenge it's, there's nothing, there isn't a race in the world where you can get the challenges and to be alongside Dave, I'd just like to have a massive thanks to Dave and the whole team and especially to my wife, she gave birth three weeks ago and uh, <laughs> he delivered the baby <laughs> <laughs> and I've not, I've not been there since the baby's been born, she's done it all by herself so thank you to everybody, thank you. Good one. Well said, Patrick. Well said, Patrick, and it, it, it certainly is some way to uh, spend your paternity leave herring around the 37 and three quarter miles here. Many congratulations. And Dave Molyneux, uh, that is the four Japanese manufacturers achieved now. Yeah, uh, I'm proud of that. That's good. Yeah, very proud. Well, let me rattle through some statistics and then we'll talk a little bit, OK? Uh, it is uh, your 40th start, 28th finish, which is a, an achievement in itself in the sidecars. And it also now means that uh, you're the fourth uh, number of podiums. You're fourth in history for the number of podiums now mm. in all the classes. And you're now third <laughs> with only two races each week in the all-time TT winners list. Many congratulations. Cheers. Mm. what happens when you stick around a while. <laughs> well, I was uh, looking for you, Dave. What, about 86, 85, something like that? 85. 85. Mm. So that's a fair old time you've been going at it. But you had a rest, and that's... Has it re-fired the engine? Definitely, yeah, because... Um, you needed that year out. Yeah, yeah. Well, I got, got married, and we decided to build a house, and everybody knows what that's like you know if, if you go racing you neglect that and that's not right so had to get that sorted and everything and Justin was good enough to be okay with me going back to do it maybe not quite okay but <laughs> you know but anyway here I am that's it mm. it's a fantastic achievement and uh your passenger here, how does he rate amongst uh, all the passengers you've had? It's clearly, <coughs> clearly meant a lot to him today, and we're all it's chuffed for him. Absolutely fantastic, and I've known how much he's really wanted it, and that's been a good driving force behind me, because, you know, when you win lots of races, it, it, everybody knows it gets stale. It can easily get stale. That, mm, I don't know how to really explain it, but it can just get stale. And I needed to get away from it for a bit, and come back and without Patrick I'd have struggled big time you know his enthusiasm and his drive and want for it was that's it you know what keeps you going you've mentioned stale you needed the year out but we've just said as well 1985 a Davy. what keeps you going to be at I that know, I top love step it. I, I like riding and while I'm not getting fat with my age I can handle getting on a bike and riding around you know uh just enjoy it. Keeps me young, maybe. Something like that. I don't know. He's older than me. <laughs> <laughs> I've just found out by a couple of months. I am actually, yeah. yeah. I didn't know. So we're not doing too bad. And, and he, won't let, he won't let you forget that yeah. as well, You've Conrad, got to, I can tell you. You <laughs> have to understand, sidecars as well, it's, it's an experience thing. And 20 years from now, these guys could be winning, you know, 20 years from now. It's, it's an experienced sport, not just... You mean 20 Hot years? I'm going to go on Wednesday. Hey. <laughs> 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 well, you might have won 20 by then. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, it's uh, just like the old days on the opening Saturday. John McGuinness takes the solo win. Dave Hi. Molyneux takes the sidecar win. Ladies Fantastic. and gentlemen, your top three then in the Shaw sidecar. TT Race 1 in third, Conrad Harrison and Mike Aylott. In second, Ben and Tom Birchill. And the winners, Patrick Ferrance. And for the 15th time, Dave Molyneux.